Firefighters of Minnesota's The Inside Scoop with your advocacy team, Toby Pearson, Aaron Bowie, and Todd Bergstrom. This week's host, Toby Pearson. We're back because they're back. Today is Friday, January 13th, 2017, and this is The Inside Scoop. Short list today, as it's the first week. What took place this week? Well, A, they spent a lot of time on health care. Two things going on. One is, how do they help with the rising costs in the Minsure population? And second is, how do you reform it in the long term? Needless to say, there is not necessarily agreement between the governor, Mark Dayton, and the Republican majorities in both the Senate and the House. The Senate and the House passed their first bill uh, out of off the floor this week, just yesterday. Uh, so now they'll go into conference committee and start talking to the governor about how to resolve their differences. Look for that to be a long time coming. The other thing they did this week was they passed a tax conformity bill. That is a mutually agreed upon thing, and I think that it will be signed and moved forward so that people will see some tax conformity, so some relief moving forward. Our stuff, what happened this week? Nothing. The typical starting fashion for the House and Senate committees that oversee long-term care issues is that they do overviews the first couple weeks so that people understand what does MDH do, what does DHS do, how do they get paid, who pays who, who regulates who. So that was what was going on in all of the committees this week for the most part. We look for things to start warming up on our issues as we move forward. If you're wondering what our priorities are, or if you haven't checked it out yet, you can check it out at our website. Yes, we have some materials posted for 2017. Basically, our top three things are elderly waiver reform, workforce, 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 and VBR 2.0, value-based reimbursement for nursing homes still has some stuff we have to figure out. What did we do while they weren't listening to all of our testimony? Well, we had meetings. This week, CPM staff worked and had meetings with the Senate aging folks, the Senate aging chair, the Senate finance chair, the House chairs of both aging and policy, and other legislators who are probably going to be carrying or involved in some of our legislation. So we had a busy time filling them in on what's going on. What you can do? Well, you can wait here and we will be giving you almost weekly updates here at the Inside Scoop. It may not always be me, as you know, sometimes Todd, sometimes Aaron, sometimes Patty. Who knows who will be here each and every week giving you this great information. You can also, again, go to our website where we have our advocacy materials. They'll be going up soon as the bills get introduced. We will put more information on each bill up there so that you can follow along at home in case you're scoring at home. We look forward to another exciting year here in 2017, and we will try to always keep you up to date with the Inside Scoop. Uh -huh.